35 years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. This is Alex Bennett. This is The Ramble coming to you from New York City and we'll be here until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. Ladies and gentlemen, the musical stylings of Larry Bubbles Brown. Hello, Larry. Hello, Alex. I understand that you had a little rioting near your house no, what, what, recently. We, we didn't have riot. You know, it's funny. I live in Harlem. And usually, in most of these demonstrations years ago, it was Harlem that burned to the ground. Okay, we didn't have anything going on here. It was all hap- it was oh. all happening in Midtown, where they were looting like Saks Fifth Avenue, you know. And uh, Macy's got looted. Of course, they're in such trouble business wise. Probably they're happy for the insurance money, you know. So. Uh, but uh, it it uh, it was it was nothing here, and there were demonstrations. I mean, there were some just really peaceful demonstrations going through the neighborhood from time to time, but nothing overt, you know, nothing uh, that caused us grief or made me afraid to go out on the street. I'm more afraid to go out on the street because of the coronavirus. <laughs> although, although I am starting to get out now. Went to the park yesterday. Yeah, didn't you tell me you'd been in the house for 72 days or some crazy thing? Yeah, uh, I've been in the house basically for about 100 days. God. This is day 101, actually. Uh, and I went out. I mean, I've been out for like about four times maybe for like 15, 20 minutes. That was about it, you know. But yesterday we went up to this uh, park and uh, – it, the flowers were in bloom, and it was a beautiful day, and everybody was keeping their social distance. And I, when people hear this interview that we're doing right now, this was recorded maybe a week ago. Okay, so uh, I probably have already talked about this, but it was gorgeous out there. It was just wonderful, and I just went, God, I miss this. But I had my gloves on. I had my mask on. Uh, I was hermetically sealed in a, in a bubble. Um, so, you know, it wasn't as fun as it could be, but it was better than it could have been, you know? Yeah, uh, well, as I told you, it, apparently from what I read, uh, very hard to transmit it outside. So they think you really probably don't even need a no, mask no, outside, actually, inside. Actually, yet, actually outside. I, th- I think you're wrong. Uh, that what I've heard is that you can transmit it, uh, you can transmit it because the if somebody's not wearing a mask and they cough, that cough, that spittle from the cough can go at least 25 feet through the air in, in the middle of the day in the park, you know. Uh, yes, it is more difficult, but it's not impossible. So we're, you know, it, it, I, I think that, uh, you know, they had all these people marching and they were waiting to see at least when this is being recorded, we're waiting to see uh, what the effect of that is. Uh, and uh, if it turns out that it isn't that bad, then there are a couple of things that we can take into consideration. Number one, here in New York at least, the amount of people who are infected now is at an all-time low. I think of the tests they do, 2% come out positive in New York City. Well, if you're having a demonstration in New York City, then there's a possibility that 2% of the people out there might have an infection. But as to whether that spreads to you, especially if you're wearing a mask, then lowers it a great deal. So maybe we won't see the uptick because of the demonstration. So, well, you know, it's, it's it's all in the statistics. And our governor has been very good about this. He said... I'm not playing politics. I'm playing statistics. I'm I'm looking at the day-to-day snapshot and saying, you know, hey, you know, 
Today, it went up. we got to be careful. we got to back off a little bit. Uh, he says it's kind of like taking your cholesterol every year. You know, you want to see what the baseline is and whether it's gone up or not. And he said, so that's what this is. He says, and that's how we're doing it. He said, I'm not doing it because the public is pressuring me, you know. He says, I'm not running for anything. In fact, he isn't. This is the last term as governor. Uh, well, how, you said you had uh, last week there was play, uh, three deaths in one day. And what was during the worst part? How many were you having? 700. A day? Yep. Wow. Oh, it was, this was, believe me, as a person who was in that prime group, you know, if you were, if I were 30, I'd be a little more bold about it and go, well, if I get it, I get it. And, you know, I'll sneeze and cough and do whatever happens. And then I'll, uh, I'll be over it. But at 80, it's like, you know, it's like uh, the Grim Reaper has a scythe right behind you. Uh, and so we were in that group, you know, that is most susceptible to getting it and dying from it. And so uh, I lived in great fear, and so did Marjorie, and so did everybody in this building because there's a much older crowd in this building. Um, you really worried about it. And, uh, but it came out, you know, we were out the other side of it, and now I feel a little bolder to go outside. Like, I didn't get a blood test I was supposed to get three months ago because of my operation. Uh, uh, but I decided to finally bite the bullet and walk down the street, and next Monday I'm getting my blood drawn. Uh, because I think things are, they're safer, by and large. And that's that's important, you know. So, um, you know, but but we lived through a it's it was scary shit. I didn't know, know it was seven hundred a day, so that that sounds like oh, pretty uh, much uh, eating ex it back excuse there. Excuse me, I, if I may be wrong, I think at one point it was as high as eight hundred a day, at the very height. Eight hundred people a day dying. That's in impressive. New York. Uh, and now it's down to, well, well, he hasn't been giving the daily numbers for the entire state, but he gave a number for New York City, and there were only three deaths yesterday in New York City. And I understand the day before yesterday, there were no deaths in New York City. So, you know, I mean, it, 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 that's an amazing change in circumstances. And by the way, folks, it has nothing to do with the weather, you know, because other states are having an uptick because they simply went, you know, they either ignored the rules or they went back too soon or whatever. Even California, you've had an uptick because of that. Uh, and um, so it really is a matter of that our governor was very careful. And I think... Quite frankly, you know, a lot of people are critical of Cuomo on a lot of levels. Uh, I don't know what the thing is about him. I think John Oliver on his show uh, a couple of weeks ago said, uh, well, you know, I've never been a big fan of Mario Cuomo, but, and then he talked about something Cuomo had said. Uh, quite frankly, I thank Governor Cuomo. I think he saved my life. I, I could be dead now. <laughs> if if it weren't for him and his daily lectures and his daily updates and how he handled the crisis, uh, he saved my life. You know. Well, I, I, you you didn't go out. Maybe you saved your life. Well, I stayed indoors because I watched him, and he said, "Don't go out." You know, and he gave me the reasons why, and the lectures were very good. You know. And and so, bottom line, you know, he 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 his his stewardship of this state during this crisis was what I would love to have seen from that thing we call a president. You know, uh, who didn't do diddly squat. So what's the uh, he's got? Seems like he's got a little uh, animus towards uh, De Blasio. He and De Blasio have always disliked each other, I guess, either politically or personally. I have no idea where it comes from. Uh, but they've been very cooperative with each other in this in this bit. But then 
uh, at one point when we had the looting at Macy's and places like that, he said, I want to know where were the cops, you know, where were the police? That's where they should have been. And uh, the the answer to that was, uh, we don't know, they were out getting coffee. Uh, but he So he criticized New York City for that. But he's worked with de Blasio on this whole thing. And, you know, they... they, they it's like a, a what is it a confederation of enemies uh yeah. and they need to work together on something like this and they're not letting their personal politics or animosities uh keep them apart they're, they're well working. i thought he actually was talking about replacing de blasio under some governor of power he had. yeah well i mean they've always had something going i i'm not a big fan of de blasio by the way he's you know well, everyone I know in New York says the same thing, so I don't know anything about him. But. Well, but somehow, I don't know, everybody says it, but they reelected him. <laughs> yeah, so somebody likes him. So where are the people that hate him exactly? Do they just stay home? You know. <laughs> it's funny, I, I, I have a neuropathy, right? So I go to a neurologist, and the neurologist in his first interview with me Asked me some questions, I guess, to see what my brain, how my brain works. And he says, who is the governor of New York? And I didn't know. <laughs> and then, then he said, I'll make it easier. Who is the mayor of New York City? And I couldn't answer. I, I was like, I completely froze up. And I felt so stupid because, you know, I do a show where I talk about politics and so on, and I didn't know who these guys, I didn't know it was de Blasio and Cuomo. And then I suddenly realized in doing a show where I talk about politics every day, uh, I really don't pay much attention to local politics. And so I, you know, I mean, those were easy answers and then once uh, somebody said de blasio and said cuomo i went yes of course you know but for the long time i didn't care who the governor of new york was the only reason i cared who the governor of new york was at one point is that the former governor of new york before uh, cuomo uh was a fan of mine and we got we got together and had lunch you know so i knew who that governor was and quite frankly pa uh, patterson was uh, okay. uh, I, I, you know, I can barely remember his name. Uh, so I knew who he was, but I knew he was the former governor, but I didn't know who the present governor was. So, you know, uh, so your doctor thought you had dementia at that point. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I don't think that you have dementia if you don't know who the governor is and who the, uh, uh mayor is, but it does show how stupid you are. <laughs> He thought you were an average American. Yeah, that, that, that was the worst part of it, you know. I, I figured that after not being able to answer that question, I should probably vote for Trump next time. Yeah. <laughs> it was like when I said I lost my tooth, I, you know, I had a tooth removed, which is still needs to be, have an implant, which I was going to do, but because of this, I ain't going all the way midtown right now. Um but I lost the tooth in the back of my mouth where you can't see it. It doesn't really matter except food gets in it. And uh, as soon as I lost that tooth, the first thing I said was, does this mean I can vote for Trump? Because <laughs> yeah, I'm missing a tooth? Yeah. But, uh, but, it, but the, when he asked me that question, I didn't answer it. I felt so stupid. So stupid. Hmm. So how's the comedy business? Oh, it's just on fire. I haven't worked in three months. <laughs> How are your skits and sketches? <laughs> do you find that at a time like this you get more creative because you've got nothing to do? or you? Well, get everyone I've talked to says, oh, they thought, oh, okay, we're not going to work for a long time. It's gonna, Everyone's going to write like crazy, and nobody's writing. Everyone's too depressed to write. Really? The only joke I got was... Uh, during the looting, I said I, uh, I looted an abort, I looted an abortion clinic and got two buckets of stem cells. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you're amazing! You are amazing. 
Um, uh, can't do that on network TV. Can't, can't do that on network TV. No, but I mean, so you're not getting that creative, I guess. You know, I get occasionally I'll, I'll post like five jokes in a night on Facebook, and then I won't post anything for another week. But, Wait, you, know, you post not, not on, a lot fa- coming out. on pa- Facebook? How do you, uh, you had, do have a computer, don't you? Yeah, I do have a dial-up computer. Yes. Okay. You don't have a camera for that, do you? No. Oh, I thought we could just try a real. Bad... I don't think it would work on dial-up. Any? <laughs> it, I might. It might. We don't know. I don't know. Depends on what kind of dial up you got. Hey, listen, we've run out of time again. Uh, that listen, quickly? We, wow. Yeah, one of these days, we're going to get you to somebody who's got a computer or something and just do this as a video. <laughs> but you don't know. It, 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 we'll, we'll find somebody with a computer near you. Anyway, Larry, okay. let's talk. I'll go to, next. I'll go to FedEx. Hey, let's talk. They have computers. Let's talk next week. You got it. Bye bye. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, it's me. I'm Alex, and uh, let me uh, go here and uh, open up the, uh, do away with the waiting room. See, I put people in the waiting room in case they could try to call, and then that would interrupt the audio and what have you. Anyway. Good evening, everybody. How are you all out there? Are you surviving? Uh, I know some states, the coronavirus is like it used to be in New York. (laughs) And uh, you've got all kinds of problems. But uh, in any event, I'm hoping that you're all okay and that you're you're surviving this onslaught. Uh, This is certainly one of the worst times I've seen in my lifetime. One way, you know, I'm I'm coming toward, uh, this is depressing depressing to say, you know, but I'm coming towards the end of my life. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> and plus I've got wheezing, oh, the po- pollen, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm coming towards the end of my life and I would just like it to be in really good times rather than really bad times. Just saying, just saying. Anyway, where is everybody? Nobody's calling me? Is uh, anybody out there? Hey? I, I know I put down 11, uh, 1055 on uh, Facebook, but most people know they can call me now, okay? Um, all right, well, I'll just sit here waiting. Uh, I was going to play something, but if I play something, then somebody will ring, and then it'll be interrupted so i would rather we get a full house of people here and then we can we can do it here comes here comes charlie wallace ladies and gentlemen uh hello charlie are you there yep i'm here there he is folks let me see here let me just uh, uh let me go over to the uh, zoom panel here uh and then i i've got to do something here i got to put it in gallery view and uh, we do that, and there they are, ladies and gentlemen. So far, we got uh, Brian, and we got Charlie, and now we've got Rob, and now we've got Jeff. You notice I don't have to go through all the the stuff of having to, you know, yes, put, wonderful. put people no, up. And no complaining. Well, yeah. No, but I don't say, like, which one? Oh, Rob. Okay, let me put Rob in there, and we'll put so-and-so in there. I just, you know, <clears throat> here they are, folks. All, all you know. assembled already, you know. I heard Bobby Slayton uh, doing a Skechers radio or satellite commercial. Have you, have you heard that before? No, I haven't, but I do know he has a relationship with Skechers. Ah, uh, yeah, I really, yeah. you know, they, yeah. they use that New York style, you know, as a... Yeah, and I, I do know that he, uh, he, he, the guy who owns Skechers loves Bobby's act, and, oh, really? uh, and, and supplies him with shoes and everything else. You know, oh, my God. Look who's all bundled up tonight, Rob. In this weather, you're bundled up like that? The air conditioning's on in here. Oh, cool. I see. Yeah, it gets really cold. I actually had to turn the air conditioning down in here because it was getting so cold earlier that, you know, 
It was ridiculous. Has anybody noticed that there's only light coming from one side of me? Yes. Yeah, I see it now. See, it if, I, if, I, if I were to turn this off, if I were turning this off, you'd see what I mean. See, mm -hmm. I turn it on, and there's the light. I'm kind of on one side. Well, it's because the other light went out. So hmm. I've been spending weeks dealing with Elgato to finally get them to replace it. And today they finally sent me all the shipping stuff and everything. So I just shipped it off. So maybe in about a week and a half, I'll have another light over on this side over here. So, you know, so I won't look like uh, I have half a face or whatever. So, but, so how, uh, um, let me see here. Uh, um, um, I, I want to play something. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if somebody else is going to join us right now. But have, are you are you guys familiar with the Lincoln Project? Yeah. The yeah. Lincoln Project has been producing these incredible, incredible videos. Uh, these spots, they're like one minute spots. And uh, supposedly Kellyanne Conway's husband is one of the people doing this because he so hates Trump, he's part of this organization. And they produce, uh, uh, the best way I can describe it is they, they produce commercials that are anti-Trump. They say they're not pro any particular person who's running, but they're, they're anti-Trump. And so all these ads that they run are anti-Trump. And uh, well, let, me, let me play one of them. And if somebody else calls here, well, I can always mute them if he calls. Okay. In fact, I can actually mute all of you. That's what I'll do, as a matter of fact. That way, uh, okay, mute all, okay, so you won't be able to talk while this is on. Here, listen to this. You, you guys will hear it, but you won't see it, okay? All right, here we go. Donald Trump is playing pretend again, saying he's the one to take on China. They can't wait. They know who Donald Trump is. Weak, corrupt, ridicule. China beats him every time. No matter what he says, China's got his number. Trump even begged Chinese leader Xi to help him win re-election, like a dog. Trade negotiations, China won. Trump's tariffs, they laughed as Trump hit American families with higher taxes. Trump's trade war, farms and small businesses went bankrupt. China's military, expanding without American leadership in the region. President Xi, Trump rolls over for China's president every time. Is it Ivanka's secret deals in China? Is it the 250 million debt Trump owed the Bank of China? It doesn't matter, because when it comes to Trump, China can't lose. The Lincoln Project is responsible for the content of this advertising. Now, all of those spots, um, let's see here. Uh, all participants uh, mute all it says here but I don't want to mute anybody I want to unmute everybody ask to unmute okay all right you, you can all unmute yourselves now I think okay there we go just unmute yourselves I can also probably do it here but um, well let me see here Charlie you're still muted uh, Brian you're not muted but then again you and played this myself. game before ask to unmute okay ask to unmute Okay, ask to unmute, uh, ask to unmute. It's very easy to mute everybody. It's um, unmute. Okay, there we go. You're all unmuted. Well, wait a minute. Jeff Stein yeah. isn't unmuted. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, all right. All right, we're all unmuted. Well, what did you think? That was one of the nicer ones, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that can be vicious on those. Yeah. Those are Republicans. Those are Republicans. Yeah. It's a Republican and Bolton group. Said, Bolton's claiming a couple of those items already, right? In his book. Who? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, they had a big list of them tonight. Yeah, yeah. Really? Uh, but, I mean, the, the, there are some of these spots are just vicious. <laughs> I mean, they just, well, maybe not vicious or true, but, you know. What do you think, Phil? I think everybody's entitled to their opinion. Oh, oh, I see. That's oh. that's the new Phil with a hormone treatment. <laughs> everybody's entitled uh, to their opinion. Yeah, I uh, I didn't agree with the premise of the commercial. What was the premise of the commercial? Uh, that uh, China was taking advantage of Trump. That he was uh, like a dog and uh, yada yada yada. This is this is just low life's 
that uh wait a minute low lifes oh, these are yeah they some of them the I, I don't have a list of who's on the link and yeah uh, well if it's kelly conway's husband he's 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 one well wait a minute let me let me look it up here and we will see if we can uh if we Go ahead, Rob. Lincoln Project. Uh, I was going to ask Phil a question while you're looking that yeah, up, and that yeah. is that you say that Trump has kept all of his all of his campaign promises except one major one. Yeah, what was that? And that is that he was only going to hire the best people, but everybody he hires, and then, like he said about Bolton, he was a washed up guy when we brought him on. So yeah, who, he gave him a chance. You know the come thing about on. Bolton. The thing, about, the, the thing about Bolton is that he's been a hawk. He was a hawk under Bush. I'm a hawk, you know, I, I and I kind of liked a lot of the things that Bolton had to say. But Trump didn't want to get us into another war. And therefore, uh, Bolton and Trump were... What about Mattis? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, you know what? I've, I've been doing this, and I didn't change the video so that people can see you all. Well, they can just, just hear you. The there, there we go, well, folks. You, you, there they you, are. You went through the Bolton I'm thing. I'm sorry about that. that. Yeah, well, okay, it's the same thing. I, I haven't changed my opinion. Okay, but what Mattis, about Mattis? When you Mattis could just go is on. A, is, a, is a person that uh, was not uh, in alignment with Trump on his foreign policy and his dealings with uh, other countries. It turns out that Mattis was right when uh and and trump eventually did what mattis wanted him to do but uh mattis pulled the plug before uh trump turned his direction on uh on syria and uh and 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 leaving uh, where, where do you get this information Iraq. phil where are you getting this information from these sound like talking why points. do you always ask me where do i get the well, because i'd like a reference record? i'd like a reference yeah, yeah, no, you're a broken record. That's what you I'm not are. a you broken record. I'm, I'm, I want a reference. Okay. Where did you hear this? Because these aren't your ideas, okay? Yes, they are my these ideas. These are somebody's are talking points that you, that you. No, they're my observations based on the news that I watch. Did Trump bring back the coal industry? Uh, much more so than uh, Obama that wanted to destroy it. And hey, so no, he promised to bring it back. It's yeah, actually well, worse it's off now of, than it was when he took no, office. No, it's not. Hillary yeah, wanted uh, told people to you know start looking for jobs. Phil, Phil, you know, let me ask you a question. Do we, we train? Do, because you're not going to answer my question about where you got your information. Right. Um, uh, 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 do you think coal is relevant today? Well, it seems as though China buys coal and they're buying it from North Korea. So how relevant is it? There's a there's a customer for coal. All right. There won't be in a few and years. If you make steel, what is steel made from? If you bring steel industry back to the United States, steel is made from coal. Is it anybody? Uh, yes, uh, no, it's not made John. From coal. It's coal. They use coal to make it, but it's not. Yeah, made they coal. use coal to make steel. But they can we, make we it from wanna, anything. They don't need coal. We, and we don't want to bring steel back to this country no, because you don't want to bring steel back. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let him finish. It, let him finish. We can't compete with China and, and those people with steel. We don't want to compete with those you guys. You don't have to compete with them. To bring, the, to bring steel back would be competing with them. Let them no. have that business. We, we, can use that, we can use that steel here. You know, we don't have to buy Chinese steel. We buy a lot of steel. To make it we buy it from the Chinese. And to buy it from China. So why would you want to bring it back if it costs you more to make it here for than the you buy it there cheaper? Hey, John, for the same reason that you want to give people $15 an hour minimum wage instead of 7 you, you you want to pay more money. Well, you have to pay more to put Americans to work. We just lost and that's just, you. And, and if you want to have talking the to the oh, hold it. If you want to Phil, have you're talking time. to the wall because uh, he. Uh, oh, there's John again. Okay. If if you want to have the lifestyle that we want in this country, mm. uh, what what then, lifestyle is that, Phil? You know, some people call it the picket fence, own your own house. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. You know, be able to send your kids to college. When's that coming back? Well, it, when the when the when the steel industry starts making a steel again, oh, in this oh country, when's that come? When's that coming back, Phil? Well, it'll come back, and you know when you put people to work, 
then it'll come back. It's gonna, and yeah, things are going to come fight. back once Trump is out of office. Phil, we've had a, Phil, uh, Phil. We've had a very Trump, vibrant economy. Trump, what do you mean a very vibrant economy? No different than and, when, when Obama was in office. Really no, no different. Obama, it, 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 no, it became, it became it very vibrant Trump under Trump. Obama and yeah. continued its vibrancy yeah, courtesy no of Obama. But you know what's happened since then? Yeah. Things got uh, the lowest unemployment in 50 years. Wait a minute. Not, not now. Well, hey, you, you, you manufacture a virus. Well, wait a minute. Oh, you man, who, who, man, who manufactured a virus? The Chinese. No, they oh, didn't. Wrong country. Yeah, in Wuhan. No, and, they didn't, Phil. Yeah, okay. No, they didn't. But all of a sudden, it broke out in Wuhan in December. And then it came to us in, in January. So you're telling me. Do you know there are people January, overseas? We went back in time. Do you, and, do you and know there Wuhan? are people overseas that actually believe the United States manufactured the COVID yeah. virus? Yeah. Wait a minute. Let me finish. Russian Will you let me finish? Yeah. yeah. That, that the United States did it so that they could get an economic leg up on the rest of the world? I know that's what China did. To no, get no. The, these are people who are saying this, and these are not. Uh, this is not the Chinese. This is like oh, the yeah. Italians, and there are, are French who are saying that. There were a lot of people oh. who felt that this was a plot on the part of the United States to create a virus to decimate I, the economies such, of the rest of the Western world. That is such bullshit. Well, I, so I, is what you said so about the what, Chinese. Yeah, it's no different. Oh, you said bullshit. You know? No, it's not. The China, you know, just look at the dates of when the Wuhan virus uh, uh, emerged, and right. and uh, the Chinese aren't, you know, they they are masters of misinformation, and they're blaming the United States. Come on, you're falling for that stuff. What do you tune into bots are us? Come on, <laughs> QAnon. <laughs> yeah. What? QAnon. Yeah, well, this president's done a lot to take care of the virus. Yes, he has. He, what has he done? <laughs> he hasn't done shit. He hasn't even had He's a wear denying it. He's denying He's it. He's denying it. They asked him, what kind, of, what kind of grade would you give yourself? And he said something like, I give myself an A. Of course. Yeah. What did he do? He did nothing. He, he hid in a bunker for a while, but he did nothing what else. About, what about all the ventilators that got made? What about all the PPE? You know, about I mean, 120,000 dead. About all the money. Yeah, off. what about the 120,000 dead, Phil? What about cutting off? China? What about the 120,000 dead? Yeah, you, you can blame. What 40, about the 120,000 dead? 40 percent of them on your man Como. Oh, really? Why? Why? Because he uh, was late to the party. He even admitted being late to the party. He said that he should have shut down like California did. Uh, a week earlier, and that's why mm -hmm. you've got all those deaths. Oh uh, no, and we didn't. Know, we didn't. You, it didn't cause that as many deaths uh, as oh, you're no. claiming. You're claiming eighty thousand deaths. I thought you said every life no. matters. At eighty thousand deaths, Phil. No, not with one week. Yeah, no. and it could have been a no. million. But if I Trump would say, I would say that a month and a half to two months of not closing down the East Coast to European travel yeah. cost us 80,000 lives. And you can blame the Chinese for that, too, and I'll tell you why. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you looking at? What are you showing us, uh, uh, Brian? I, I can't see it. Brian? Uh, what are oh, you? Uh, Tony's uh, his host needs to unmute. I can't. Yeah, oh, Tony's muted. He, he's muted? Yeah. Oh, well, wait a minute. I, oh, mm -hmm. hold on a second. Asked to unmute uh, that Brian. Asked mm -hmm. to unmute Charlie Wallace. Yeah, it's saying that the host has to unmute participants. I don't know if there's oh, because, a okay, okay, there you go. Everybody. There we go. Well, I don't oh, know why I'm, that why that happened because I I muted all and then I unmuted I'm, everybody. I'm yeah. gonna try it again. I'm gonna mute myself. Yeah. Yeah. Why can't you can't unmute. unmute. No, you still have to unmute every time. I have to unmute him. Yeah. Yeah, Brian can't I had, unmute. I had himself. to call, so I muted myself, and it wouldn't let me unmute. Oh, huh. okay. Well, I just yeah. Got, yeah. And then Tony got on because I got off and gone back on, and I yeah. couldn't. So maybe there's an option. Yeah. To unmute. yeah. Well, I'm glad. Try it with Phil. Don't unmute. Yeah, Phil. Why don't you try <laughs> muting yourself? <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Does that mean I have one minute left? <laughs> <laughs> or that no, you're happy to signals. see me? From Brian to everyone, I can't unmute myself. 
Oh, there was a chat thing there. Yeah, but nobody's How's reading the chat. Says chat? <laughs> and then it says one. Hmm. On mine it says chat, and it says one. Oh. Yeah. Then you click on that, and it has. I just said I couldn't meet myself, but. And once you click on it, oh, I see. That's what it, it is. The yeah. one goes away. I see. Okay. All right. All right. Anyway. 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 Thank you. Hey, did you hear Trump? Uh, Trump uh, popularized the Juneteenth um, holiday. Yeah. <laughs> he made it it all yeah. He made it. He made it relevant. He popularized. Yeah. yeah right. He popularized. Nobody yeah. heard of it. Nobody yeah. had heard of it before that. Nobody had heard of it, and nope. he popularized. You know what it. Juneteenth meant to me, and when I was at Richmond. That there was going big to be a riot. No, riot. Oh, there are big parties. Mer Lake Merritt, big parties. Big well, parties. I found In Richmond, it, 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 you went to Nickel Park, and you had to be there with tear gas because there was always a riot and rock throwing and all sorts. You got to leave of on time. No, it was just <laughs> the way they partied. Or as you called it, Chokehold Park. Yeah. Yeah, my friends, my friends that live in Oakland, I mean, we, Juneteenth is a big barbecue party and huge... Well, I'd uh, never heard of it before, but it was but I didn't hear about it courtesy of Donald Trump. You know. Oh, of course not. <laughs> you know, but by I'm the way, by the way, did you hear there. the best one from Bolton that he thought that Finland was part of the Soviet Union? Yeah. Was. Part of Russia? <laughs> what? Finland? It was a satellite of uh, the USSR. Went Finland? Uh, Never, uh, not in yeah. our lifetime, Phil. Yeah, it was this. It no. was a satellite. Uh, they, uh, the USSR. No, it wasn't, Phil. Dude, no, if somebody Trump look that up, will you? Just look it up, Brian. Look it up. Wrong somebody about that one, Phil. No, I don't think so. I yeah. hope. Just look I it hope. up. It's hard. Well, not we're gonna have, if, you, if you say that one more time, this whole audience is gonna get really drunk. Yeah. 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 I, I hope somebody. I, I said the. Ru I studied Russian in college. Finland was never a satellite of Russia. Okay, comrade, because you can speak <laughs> Russian, you know, now all of a sudden you know about Finland's... Uh, yeah, I, I know which countries were satellites of Russia. Finland was not one of them. Finland you also didn't know Finland. that Big Britain had nuclear weapons. Yeah, I didn't know that either, yeah. Nuclear. I hope somebody is writing all of these down. The satellite, oh, yes. Oh, because this uh, would be the most unbelievable book. Rob? Just those sentences. <laughs> Just nuclear. those sentences, one after another nuclear. after another. Nuclear. Nuclear. <laughs> you know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, George W. Bush? Yeah. <laughs> That's how I learned it. Well, no, I'm talking, you got I'm talking about the nuclear. Now I mean the Trumpisms. All these Trump things that he says every day. One he has like one every day he talks. There's something that he just says out of his mouth is so untrue. I'm sure somebody's going to have a book of tweets. Somebody's going to have, uh, you know. All oh, yeah. Of it's going to go down in history as the worst president ever in this country. The rewriting Mark of my history. words. Phil, wh wh where did you think about I think this? He already is. Well, accomplished that. But history hasn't written it yet. Well, well I'll write it down. Okay, what did you find? Case. What? Phil, what did you think about the Supreme Court decision? Well, I think that Trump appointed some honest judges. They did. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now, of oh, course, Roberts God. was appointed by Bush. Right. But, uh, you know, uh, Gorsuch went uh, again. Not Gorsuch. Gorsuch went against. Yeah, Gorsuch went against. Yeah. And uh, also. Yeah. Voted and with yesterday, Trump it, yesterday it, was, it was Gorsuch and uh, what's his name? The new guy. Robert. Kevin. Roberts. No, Robert, no, on, no. On, on the gay one, it was Gorsuch that that went up, went over. But on the uh, DACA thing, it, none, of, none of his, none of Trump's went over. It was right. just more well, liberal. Roberts. You yeah, know, Robert, yeah. But but what it says is that Josh is right that these judges are really independent and uh, as it should be. And I believe that uh, they based it on what's constitutional and not, even though the DACA thing, they said that Trump, uh, that Obama's thing was not constitutional, and all of the uh, uh, justices agreed with that. Right. It was something that Sessions did that uh, got it thrown out, and they were going to have to refile, but because of timing and the summer that they'll never get it in before the election. 
Mm -hmm. Right. Well, in any event, he won. He lost twice this week. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, I think America Wait, won. Wait, America. Oh, yeah. Boy. Trump lost. America won. No. Yeah. Yeah. And when he loses in the fall, America's going to win. Oh, America's right. going to celebrate losing huge. in the fall. It's going to be that. Oh, it's going to be you the know, biggest party. <laughs> bigly. The, the Trump is going to have camps for you guys. You're going to love it. You know, just get on the train. And, you know, Trump's going to run the, Trump the Russian train. <laughs> hey, Kevin, how are you? It's funny. People suddenly just sneak up on us now. Yeah, they pop out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, popping. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I tend to do it this way rather than make people go into the waiting room because then I'll never see it, you know, because I'm so far out of it now. I'm gone. Does I'm, anybody else see a waiting room? I, I don't see it. Yeah, no. there's a waiting room. You could set it up that way. Yeah, I could yeah. say that. So that people don't join the meeting until the moderator says, you know, I, that's how my Skype is set up for business. Because sometimes we're talking while we're waiting for customers and you want to make sure you admit them. Yeah. yeah. Well, well the, like reason, the reason I do it up, I, I get everything ready before the show. And then I go make the waiting room exist because then if I'm doing the show and they come in, you know. I can also create it so that everybody comes on here muted and I can unmute them. You know, oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, three days to slow the spread. Oh, yeah, 120 now. Yeah. Oh, I 120. 26, it off. 26 states have seen a surge in this fake uh, pandemic. Yeah, yeah, and California is finally following New York. Newsom's telling everybody to wear masks Florida. everywhere. Yeah, even waiting for the bus everywhere they want. I think that's a good idea. Today may have been the last day for Cuomo, maybe tomorrow, but he did his thank you to everybody today. Uh, and what we're going to miss him. We're going to miss him. Jeez, he was great. Oh, you need me, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin you're, you're muted, Kevin? Why Why? Why were you muted? Yeah, I he think muted it's, himself. Unmute him. it's automatically when you uh, come on, I guess we're automatically muted. No, you shouldn't be, though, because I don't have it set for that. I was able to unmute myself. Maybe it, did you send me? Uh, was yeah. that? Um, no, do it now. Like that, that said, unmute, unmute yourself. Mute yourself. Let me see if I can unmute you. All right. Uh, there's the mute. Got him. Okay, let's go on. Uh, with yeah, the show, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Phil. Phil, try to unmute yourself. Try. Keep trying. I can hear him. I can hear Keep him. Trying. Uh -huh. <laughs> can some more like oh yeah we can hear you phil fine okay. yeah yeah, we can yeah, yeah we can perfect yes. anyway let's perfect. get on with the show here <laughs> yeah phil right yeah, yeah. He's, oh he's gonna hang up and oh, call back you're in. democrat now right? no okay. no even i hung up and called back and you're still muted no you are yeah, you call, yeah. Devin came yeah, so. unmuted yeah yeah it, it seems like when you go in the waiting room I, with your mute i just asked to unmute phil uh ray renati's coming on ray too. just trying yeah, Phil. I asked you to re unmute. Uh, he's trying to. He's trying to type up a joke. <laughs> I I um I uh, copied the uh, uh, yeah. the thing. This is this is what it says. Um, I unmute Ray. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's oh, Ray. Wow, everybody's everybody's coming on muted tonight. Uh, yeah, right. maybe maybe it's something you pressed when you uh, yeah. when you no that's you know, muted us all. I think that turned it on okay, for the whole session. Now. Okay. Oh, that probably turned it turned it on for anybody who calls. I see. Okay. And anybody who mutes themselves. Ray, un you do unmute that. yourself. Yeah, because Ray always mutes himself, so he's gonna have a hard time. Uh, I I asked you to unmute. I did. No, okay, I'm, I'm uh, unmuted, but okay. I, I muted back because I didn't want the wind noise to oh. bother you. No, oh, okay. So well, you get, there's you some setting that. Yeah. No, don't Are mute for a little while. I, by the way, I want to apologize to my audience for unmuting Phil. <laughs> I better mute, I think. <clears throat> okay. Right. Wendy. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I'm on hand. the Baylands, man. Where oh, am nice. I? Fremont? Mm -hmm. uh, Palo Alto. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I come out here almost every day. Yeah, it's nice. So that's yeah. close to 101, right? Is that closer for yeah. 101? Yeah, 101's right down there where you oh, see. Okay. Yeah. So what Go exit is it the other day? Look for you. Oh, okay. uh, it's, it's near uh, Embarcadero Oregon Expressway. Ah, oh, got by, it. Okay. That's by Facebook. 
Not uh, university? Google. Almost, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's between Google and Facebook, like halfway yeah. in between. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, great. I, I, right I, wing, or they'll push you in the water. Okay. Anyway, I've got a little bit of uh, a little bit of information here that, that Rob would be especially interested in. Should I mute? Yeah. Oh, turn sorry. turn off. Mute and then raise your hand if you want to talk. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'll mute. Okay. I think uh, I think he can. Un he should be able to unmute himself, but yeah. I don't know why. You know, it's not working tonight. I mean, I can check my. After the show's over, I'll check. It might be your waiting room setting or something. No, there's a, there's, there is a thing I go to that's like um, um, for um, the, uh, what do you call it? The, um, let me see here. I, I don't know what the, where the tools are. There's a page I go to that has all the tools and everything. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, it, I think it was after you did the Lincoln, the Lincoln group thing. Uh, really? Yeah. yeah, then you asked us all Everybody. to unmute, and then we couldn't go back and forth after that. Oh, uh, let's right. see here. Oh, people, it says here, are you going to unmute yourself? I have it set so you can unmute yourself. It says, I'll try. Unmute themselves. Okay. All right. Now. Uh, yeah. Oh, Rob there, can't unmute. There's a, unmute the there's a setting. Hold on uh, a second. I have a thing here that says unmute themselves. Oh, yeah. I see. I haven't got it switched on. Okay, there, now try it. Setting. Now there's try it, Rob. Uh, there we hey, go. Hey. Okay, <laughs> okay. I, I found it. Anyway, let me get to this. Okay, let's not. I hate spending time on technical stuff, and it's been great with this uh, Zoom because I haven't had to until now. You're gonna like this, Rob. Curve. The, Operator error. The new CEO of the U.S. Agency for Global Media, Michael Pack has fired the heads of Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, Radio Free Asia, Radio Cuba Broadcasting, the Middle East Broadcasting Network and Open Technology Fund, and all current members of the station's boards. Pack, a conservative filmmaker and associate of Steve Bannon, was appointed by President Trump. He fired F Radio Free Asia's Bay Fang, RFE's RL's James Fly, the Office of Cuba Broadcasting, Emilio Vasquez, the Open Technology Fund's Libby Liu, and the Middle East Broadcasting Network's Alberto Fernandez on Wednesday and replaced them with a bipartisan board members for each station with Trump administration political appointees. Hmm. Maybe it'll be a job opening for you. Fang will continue as executive editor of Radio Free Asia pursuant to the condition of her appointment last November, and Vasquez, whose position was interim director, will continue at the office of the Cuba Broadcasting for now. Anyway, an appointee of Trump's fired everybody at Radio Free, basically at Radio Free Europe. Get rid of them. Hmm? Wait, That's wait, this plan. And, and they, say, they say that what they're doing is they're going to replace them with Trump people who uh, PAC's appointment and Senate confirmation raised concerns from Democrats and other observers that the independent agencies would become partisan outlets disseminating Trump administration messages. Of course. Yep. And that's what else, why else would happen. you fire them? So when, after the election, those guys all get cleaned out. It's not for the ratings. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, uh, let's see here. It, uh, I cannot unmute myself, says Brian Neary. Brian, you can't unmute yourself? No, I'm good now. Oh, I'm you're good, good now. now. That was oh, oh, that was old. That's old news oh, okay. as opposed to fake news. All righty. Oh, well, now you all should be able to unmute yourself if you mute yourself, okay? Anyway, where were we? So, uh, you know, just another another Trumpy another thing. Another day in paradise. Another Trumpy thing going on. Some of the, some of the stuff that Bolton said, mm -hmm. uh, journalists should be executed. This is what Trump was saying to them. Yeah. Talks consistently about law and order, gassed Americans peacefully protesting. That was the the photo op. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just keeps going on and on. Ben Said invading Venezuela would be cool. Mm -hmm. Would be cool. That's what. Uh, cool. Yeah. Um, what's his name wanted? Not Trump. Uh, no, he he, he Trump backed him up, saying that would be cool to do it. 
Yeah. So yeah, anyway, I mean, Bol Bolton. If, if, even if they don't release the book, I mean, everything's out there already, right? Yeah. Well, you Nobody know, I mean, the book. I mean, it's amazing how many of us. If we didn't, my question is, if we didn't like Bolton before, should we like him any more for no. this? No. no. He's still a horrible guy. He's a piece of shit. Yeah, he's still yeah. a piece of shit. But you love him because he no, is. He was not a at all. He would have no. said that during the impeachment. You know, when you're a piece of shit, right? And when you're a piece of shit, and another piece of shit says you're a piece of shit, then I guess you better take it to the fucking bank. Mm -hmm. Isn't that when two negatives repel one another? No, you take it to the bank. These are the best, the best that America has to offer that Trump was going to hire. Cream of the crap. Is Cream of the crap. Yeah. yeah. Drain well, the swamp. Rid of it. This yeah. shit just clogs the toilet. That's well, all. you know, it's like he almost <laughs> thinks he almost thinks ha being the pre having the presidency uh, it gave him the ability uh, to really do another season of The Apprentice. Yeah. Because he's always uh, firing this person and firing that person. You got music. How's that? It's, I don't know. It sounds like every car that passes by my street. What is that, Phil? Is that you, Phil? Oh no. Well, who is it? It's Fred. Huh? It's it's it, it is it uh, is it uh, John Larkin? Yeah, uh, well, Fred's watching TV about again. That. Oh, okay. Anyway, so I'm tired. You guys take over. I'm tired. <laughs> well, <laughs> Texas is trying to put. Uh, New York down because uh, we've had over 11,000 uh, new COVID cases in the last three days, and we're still rising. And Oklahoma, right wow. behind you guys. Yep. Yeah. And they're gonna be, there's going to be a rally yeah. there in a couple of days. Yeah. yeah Oklahoma's did, going did for they, number uh, one. I'll take the lead then. Did Oklahoma get enough uh, actors from their Craigslist uh, ad to. Hey, why don't you guys call really? a cop? Oh, you can't call a cop. They all quit. You know, oh, that's, well, that's their fault. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, so much for being just a couple of bad apples. Would be yeah. funny if, <laughs> if in the cities where they quit, crime goes down. No, actually, look like New York. Yeah, uh, uh, the crime is up two hundred and fifty percent on murders. On murders, yeah. But mm -hmm. but we had, I think, last year no murders at all, or maybe one. Well, There's some, last year some amazingly low amount. What? You didn't have the virus last year. You didn't have de Blasio. Well, you did have de Blasio. But, uh, you know. Uh, you know what we are uh, thinking of doing here in New York, and Cuomo brought this up today. When we were the infected capital of America, um, Florida would not allow anybody <laughs> to come from New York to Florida uh, without yeah. <laughs> being quarantined for two weeks. So we're thinking of doing the same thing with Florida. It's a great yeah. idea. Yeah, with anybody. I think the Floridians want to go to New York. Oh, you really? They all move down there. Yeah, but they got to come up and see relatives. See, that that was what I didn't finish saying when Brian started talking about muting was uh, that when the Chinese, when, when Trump closed down the Chinese to uh, travel to the United States, uh, what they did in China was they stopped tra travel in China from Wuhan to anywhere else in China. But they allowed the Chinese people to travel to U the U.S. and uh, for almost a month and to uh, Europe. Mm -hmm. So the Chinese allowed them to, to leave but didn't allow them to travel within China. And that's why you wound up with all of these people infected in Spain and Italy and France and England mm -hmm. because the Chinese didn't stop the Chinese from traveling. They locked down Wuhan, but they didn't lock them down to the rest of the world. What is, what is this you sent me, uh, uh, Kevin? It was just an ad that was on Twitter about them trying to get people to stand behind Trump oh. Craigslist ad oh really community service <laughs> oh really and you there... know they got a million people applied to go to the that thing yeah, yeah well they're trying, they're trying to pay people Facebook I mean Craigslist he could <laughs> they're advertising for people on Craigslist he couldn't get a million yeah. people to come to his inauguration do you think he's going to be able to get a million people to go see him speak 
Come on. He it was most million. people in his inauguration than any other president that, ever. Greg we all know. Million. That. The biggest. <laughs> the biggest. The biggest. The bigliest. Mm -hmm. ever. Well, what is this, Kevin? Is this for real or is this phony? It, oh, was, it, was, in, it was on Twitter the other day when he posted his little thing. Oh, he's his, almost a million oh, people. It, it was on Twitter. It must be true. For no, it's not. And it is certainly. I just sent it to show him. But there was a Craigslist ad, too. It wouldn't yeah. be the first oh, time he's hired people. Too. But if you so, go to the uh, next the uh, next picture, there's the uh, Craigslist ad. Somebody wrote back, lots of luck, sure, Spanky. Is this why you're having to pay excited, enthusiastic minority actors and actresses on Cra Cra Craigslist to hold signs? What? <laughs> wow. Well, the second picture is the Craigslist ad. Oh, well, let me see here. Now, how and do I go It shows the stadium okay. is where the... Where the now, uh, now I got your jewel thing. Wait a minute. <laughs> are you just trying to create shuffle-ready jobs? That's right. Probably, yeah, they probably go. get free posters yeah. to yeah. go. Yeah, actors need it June 20th. Excited, enthusiastic minority actors and actresses need to hold signs at event in Tulsa. Send headshot resume for early consideration. Oh, my this God. This may be applied <laughs> towards community Alex? service. He's on Craigslist looking for black friends. My God, yes. maybe, so maybe, pay, maybe pay okay. scale. Get a free yeah. poster. No, it counts as community service, too. Wow. Charlie, Charlie, if you apply, I will pay for your plane ticket to go and be behind him, please. Oh, yeah. I'll pitch <laughs> I will in give you masks Charlie. and everything, okay? I'll pitch in. I bet you get a mask that says Trump 2020 on it. He'll he'll want you to he'll want you to take and hold one of his one of his machines though. Yeah. I, I, saw, my I, I saw one of these bright bright Trump people, one of the uh, woman who was saying, Well, I want to I want to see him speak and it's worth it to me. She said, uh, and let's face it, the coronavirus is, uh, you, 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 there's a flu every winter. You can get that you and you go. could die. Uh, and, and I hated to tell her that I had heard somewhere that there were vaccines against those flus. <laughs> yeah. But there isn't a vaccine for this one. Now, if you can get a vaccine for this one, then show up. Otherwise, well, you know, it's all it's all started from 5G. It's 5G that started. Oh yeah, that's right. 5G started. Yeah, as she called somebody on her phone, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, the idiocy that's going on in this country right now, especially where this virus is concerned. I mean, everybody, just calm down, realize Bizarre. it's dangerous, and you got to do your part. Oh, here we have competing scenery now on our yeah, if, program. If you look on YouTube, if you look on YouTube, it's on top of each other too. It's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. It's right on top of each other. Uh, there's, uh, there's the bail. Oh, picture of mine. Usually they're sleeping in my garden. Uh, That's what the the uh, what do they call it? The Baylands or something down below. And the other is what? Bad. Uh, uh, Santa Cruz Mountain-ish sort of. Yeah. 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 Going up north. Well, if anybody has any other scenery they want to show us, let me know. You know. Uh, I can the San Benito Mountains, but they're uh, covered by a house. Yes. You're covered Homeless by a house. The tenderloin. Yeah. The tenderloin. Yeah, that's what we need a shot of down well, there. Inter interview some uh, tent people. <laughs> Yeah, um, my friends uh, used to own uh, Ruby Sky. Let's talk about something else here oh, yeah. for a second. This, this is something that was in the news yesterday, and I should have brought it up yesterday, but eh, we were having a lot of fun yesterday, and today we're just kind of looking at Phil with our mouths agape. Uh, uh, Aunt Jemima. Oh, yes. oh boy. And and the Quaker company that guy. does. Uh, Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben's yep. and now the Quaker Oats guy. And, oh, the Quake. Why the Quaker Oats guy? He's just a Quaker. No, the Quaker <laughs> Oats guy. What about Crackle Barrel? Why is that a bad? Yeah. Is what that a Crackle Barrel? I'm very it's, offended uh, by Crackle Barrel. It's, <laughs> it's, oh, there it discriminates we go. against Hold it up Barbara to your Bush. camera. Hold it up to your camera. Uh, That's the modern. Tony, hold it up to the camera. Save that. Now, now, first of all, first of all, hold it, hold it right up, hold it right up to the camera so we can see it, so we can see it larger, closer, closer, larger, closer. Tony, closer, closer. There you go. Now, is that the Aunt Jemima? What is wrong with that Aunt Jemima? Is she manny, really? Like from Gone with the Wind? No, no, no. I'd say maybe what twenty years ago, they got rid of the one with the cloth on her head. And they replaced it with that very modern black woman. Yeah. Keep that bottle. It's going to be worth something someday. Yeah, right. 
Come on, waffle cream. Uh, you know. I what mean, about Mrs. Uh, Butterworth? Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, let's ask Charlie. Because Charlie is the uh, is the uh, the token black on our show. <laughs> well, how do you feel, Charlie, about Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben? I never had a problem with them. Well, he was Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben when we were growing up. Yeah. Did you ever look at them and go, hmm, this is not Before a great... Before I was diabetic, I used nope. real maple syrup, not that imitation crap. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, Ray, you got your hand. I up. just had, I was I was in a play last year about Aunt Jemima and the history of Aunt Jemima, mm-hmm. really? and uh, it was like me and eight other black people. <laughs> it was a blast, but uh, I can't remember any of them having a problem with Aunt Jemima. <laughs> I mean, it was sort of like a historical thing, and this woman, there was a real Aunt Jemima, an actress. Her name was Nancy mm-hmm. something. Yeah. And she used to travel around the country, and she was on TV commercials and all this stuff. Uh, uh, the and then there were a couple more. Well, remember? The original, uh, the original, well, there was one right before Nan- the Nancy. Nancy, I can't remember her name, but she didn't do much. And then the Nancy yeah. was the main main one. Mm-hmm. But, the original sorry. Aunt Jemima actually was a millionaire, and she was a no, chef. No, she wasn't. Yes. No, 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 no. Nineteen twenty-four. No, Phil. Okay, uh, the no. original. To begin with, you know, Aunt Jemima one pancake. Made, the one right. Okay, never mind. Aunt Jemima. Mind. Well, hold on I a second. Through, I, Aunt Jemima pancake uh, and syrup and whatever the whole thing I think is over a hundred years old. Yeah, she died yeah. in nineteen twenty-four, and her the royalties that they used for her likeness. Okay, that's uh, right. Yeah, uh, she was a but millionaire. She was not a millionaire though. That came later. Her family. What was maybe. her name, Phil? Nancy uh, what? I, I don't remember her name. Nancy. Uh, okay, uh, well, but yeah, it, it couldn't there have were been two on families television. that sued for the estate. She was yeah. later. Oh, never mind. Okay, hold, I, hold on a second. I, hold I was on in a second. The play. I, I, I will. I will uh, stop all the arguments here. Aunt Jemima is a brand of pancake mix syrup and other breakfast foods. The Aunt Jemima pancake mix debuted. When do you figure it debuted? Anybody ever guess? Ninety. Really? Uh, uh, I would say pancake mix later. Yeah. Are you ready? For the syrup in, uh, was a lot. Forties. You ready for this? I think twenties. Twenty four. It was the first ready-made mix, by the way. The first ready mix, uh, and it debuted in. 1889. Wow. Ooh. I said 1890. Not bad for it was a Jew. Bu- it was buckwheat. The brand <laughs> is currently owned by Quaker Oats and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and uh, uh, Aunt Jemima is based on the common mammy stereotype, a character in minstrel shows in the late 1800s. Her skin is dark and dewy with a pearly white smile. She wears a scarf over her head and a polka dot dress with a white collar similar to the common attire uh, and physical features of the Mammy characters throughout history. Uh, A uh, character named Aunt Jemima appeared on the stage in Washington, D.C. as early as 1864. My mother-in-law used to to collect the Mammy statues, you know, the Mammy figures. Mm -hmm. She used to collect those. Oh, they were a hot item. That would that would make that first one eighty years old when she died. Yeah. Well, the first oh. one to begin with it, is it based on that woman? I think uh, so. It's changed Probably, over the yeah. years, but the, the the main woman, her name was Nancy. If you look on Wikipedia, you'll see it. She was the one who was actually known around the world. I remember the, the her name was Nancy oh, Green. The Wait a minute, hold on a second. An Angemima. early image of Aunt Jemima was based on a real image of Nancy Green. A That's original it. painting of whom was rendered by A.B. Frost, who is now well known as one of the great illustrators of the golden age of American illustration. The original yep, version right. of the current Aunt Jemima was designed by H. Gene Miller, but he was uh, but he was officially credited. Uh, he only he also designed the original version of the current San Giorno Pizza Company logo. Anyway, the the point is that my question is. That old mammy, Aunt Jemima, is gone. Been gone yeah. for a long time. Yes. Why do we need to get rid of this one? I mean, why, you know, I mean, people, to begin the with. modern it's, version. 
I think Charlie would agree. It's not an unfavorable uh, attitude that people morning. have about Aunt Jemima because Aunt Jemima pancake mix. Who didn't like Aunt Jemima pancakes? Hey, we're having Aunt Jemima pancakes. They're going to bring back Sambos, too. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, Little Black Sambos. Remember Little Black Sambos? Yes. Yeah. You get the they took the Little Black off. Of well, uh, that, that one I couldn't see because Sambo, Little Black Sambo, and he was Little Black Sambo. Yeah. He wasn't Little Sambo Negro was Sambo. Well, he, he wasn't Little N-Word yeah. Sambo. He was Little Black Sambo. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, it was a, a story written uh, for kids by Rudyard Kipling, uh, and uh, it, uh, but uh, he, what he did was he got attacked by tigers and he made them run around in a circle so much they mm. turned into butter. butter. Okay, now there was nothing wrong with little black Sambo, he was a very smart kid, you know. And I always wondered, well, you know, but the, no, it was not the time to call a place Sambo's anymore, and it wasn't time for Aunt Jemima, and now Uncle Ben who years ago they changed the image of Uncle Ben on the yeah. box, you know, so that it was just a good-looking kind of older black man. Uh, and, and these were representations of black people in American iconology. And uh, we're kind of making them disappear. Uh, Get rid of Mr. Women. Clean. He's a skinhead. We've been joined by Anthony, Anthony Smith. Wait a minute. Anthony, are you there? Anthony, are you there? <laughs> He's muted. Uh, yeah, he's Anthony, muted. Well, wait a minute. Muted. Hold on a second. Let me let me see if we can. Um, oh, his camera's off. I have to commend too. Ray. He picks okay. up the doggy's poop Ask with a bag. Un unmute. Oh, he's out in the bad room. Uh, he has to unmute and he has to allow the camera too. Oh, oh, uh oh, Anna Maria Esther. Oh, I got somebody else. Oh, I think you better get the waiting room going because. Oh, really? We should banish them. Well, I know you got two unknown. And, uh, uh -oh. There you go. Now there's oh, another person. The They're all good. Oh, we get another person. Oh, let's get a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> They're ready for porno. Yeah. Yeah, but they can't. They can't. Zo they can't zoom bomb because I. Hello, uh, guys. Because the, I have the uh, oh, screen. Who said hello? Uh, yeah, but all who who said hello? Who said hello? They're all muted. I heard Are you there, said, oh, Anthony, God. Maria, any of you? They're all muted. Okay, uh, there's Maria Isabel and a, Rami and a Maria Eth Esther. Okay, well, uh, put him, I think this is Spain. Put him, Maria Isabel. Put in waiting room. Hello, uh, Put in waiting room. Oh, no, not Tony. I don't want to put Tony yeah. in the waiting room. Uh, Maria, Maria. Maria, Maria. Maria, Maria. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, Fable. Maria, Fable Flores. <laughs> oh, there yeah. we go. Oh, no. This is Waiting a problem room. when you allow everybody. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh -oh. Here we go. 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 Oh, yeah. we go. Okay, hold, hold on a second. Wow. Oh. Okay, hold on one minute. One minute. One minute. Let, me, let, me, let me hold on a second. I've got to do something Samsung here. Uh, <laughs> let me just uh, enable the waiting room. The up. Let me, um, um, uh, then let me get rid of this. Oh, no. Maria is terrible. Uh, chat. The chat room is going crazy, too. Chat is going crazy. Okay, let me see here. Uh, more. Uh, let me see here. Remove. Uh, Look at the chat. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, I see. I'm He's a bullshit man. Oh, here we go. Uh, remove. <laughs> nice bullshit, man. <laughs> remove. Okay, there we go. We're mo removing them. What and we're going to remove them. No porn. Uh, this is very disappointing. You guys are terrible Zoom bombers. No porn? Well, Come they on. can't They can't do it. Rookies. Because... You're all rookies. Let's see here. Uh, remove. Okay. Let me, let me do something up here. This will make it easier for bombers. me. Okay. Mario. Remove. You're uh, speaking. Uh, okay. Uh, Benito. Oh, yeah. There we go. Adam. Porn. Yeah. Where's the porn? Come on. Remove. We got a dog pooping. That's the point. You guys suck at bombing. You're very, very bad Zoom bombers. I'm telling you. Remove. Very disappointing. Okay. Remove. Opa, okay. Remove. <laughs> okay. There Love we go. You. Samsung 7. Uh, we want to remove Love them. Flores. <laughs> Samsung 7. <laughs> this is this is a pain in the ass, isn't it? Remove. Yeah. Okay, I guess every night we're going to have to uh, institute right so after well. 
It was only a matter of time. Yeah. Yeah. It was only Can you just turn night. off the chat? No, oh, keep that. the chat on. It's pretty good. Oh, okay. <laughs> remove. Wait a minute. Hold on. Who am I? Who am I removing here? Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Are you Who's true? That? Okay. Sebastian, your English grammar is terrible. I'm, I got to put my glasses on. Thing. This is too small. And then you okay. say, shut up shit. Really? Okay. Shut Very up terrible. shit. Remove. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> and remove. You just sit here and just remove. <laughs> And, uh, let's see here. I can't get Fabio Flores to remove, though. Oh. That's, oh, that's the problem. Go on, Alex. Huh? Uh, I understood moron. Fabio, are you there? Let me see. Okay. Oh, well, that's how I get Moron. Rid of that's how I get <laughs> rid of Okay, we only moron. got two. I see yeah. moron. We only got two oh. more. Two more to get rid of here. Espanol, uh, please. Sebastian Semeno, he's going to go. Okay. All right. I noticed that I, in order to do it, I have to. Si hablo espanol. Oh. And here comes, where's Benito? Benito. Oh, there we go. Bye, Benito. Uh, remove. Adios. Okay. And Adios, we go. Amigo. Okay. Remove. All right. How do we do? Okay. All remove. Gone. Remove. 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 Like one bomber okay. walking the dog. That's oh, that's right. right. Remove. Sorry. Okay. Remove. There's a light inside there going up and down. Okay. I figured, oh, here comes the port. Remove. Okay. <laughs> and remove. Okay. And remove. Okay. There we go. We got rid of them all. Yeah. Goodbye, you motherfucking cocksuckers. <laughs> there we go. And the monetization okay. for you. Huh? No, no more monetization. No more it. monetization for me. Sebastian has entered the waiting room for his meeting. <laughs> oh, really? oh, really? Adios. You have, huh, Sebastian? Goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah. How do they find out about this? It's a good question. Yeah. How do they find out? Not on Facebook. They, you, got you got it on YouTube. That's all. You fake. got fans. You got fans everywhere. Alex. Mucho papalavio. <laughs> yeah, but but what happened was these these were all people who wanted to bomb me. Yeah, In other yeah. words, it was nobody like all of a sudden who said, "Oh, you know, I really gotta, I really gotta see Alex. You know, I gotta talk to Alex. You know." And now you wish they there. built the wall. Okay, we remove that, remove them. They it, keep coming into, no they keep coming in, they keep <laughs> keep coming into the waiting room, but it doesn't matter. They're just wasting their time now. You know. Yep. So isn't that fun? That's funny. No. I, see, one day when we did this show, I didn't know about this. I was doing it on. Uh, I think I was doing it during the daytime. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I had I have it so they can't share their screen. Nobody can share their screen. But when you have share screen on, they can start sharing their screen with you. And they, I had vaginas with penises in them. I had all kinds of pornography going on. And I finally, what I, and I, because I was new to Zoom, I didn't know what the hell was going on. Samsung Seven tried just tried again, but he's in there in the waiting room, uh, and here but comes Zoom. Lets you have backgrounds, right? You could turn that off, I think. I, yeah. I, I have some kind of picture in there, of some sort. Don't, hey guys, don't even try. Don't even try. I was I was listening. I was watching that, and I was driving. I almost crashed when I saw all the porn in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Alex, Alex, you seem cool. We're not going to bomb you. And the guy left. Remember? <laughs> well, I think what we're going to have to do from here on in is after we get our initial citizen panel, I'm going to have to make it so people go into the waiting room. I don't know, guy. Alex. I think they're going to. They'll know what time you come on. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to have to admit people that you want. Oh, I may yeah. do that. I may just. You you may, know, all I think of you're going to have to. Yeah. And just yeah. click the button, mm -hmm. and there, you know, it, as you see it, people it, you recognize. It, it's a very easy what thing. That to does do. though is that keeps new people from coming on. Yeah, but they might come on with a camera and reasonably. Yeah, but you won't uh, know until you let them in, right? Well, you know, when you look at Esther Marie, and Isabel Marie, and uh, Flavio, oh. you, you can kind of figure that. Yeah, I don't know no Flavio. Oh, profiling now. I, right? I don't know no Flavio. <laughs> oh, good one. <laughs> and by the way, good one. Just, uh, now we know how you used to work. Now you see, here's a Bob Pratt, and the mm. question is, is Bob Pratt? <laughs> yeah, see, an there actual you go. That, person. That's the, now. 
but I can doubt it. Has camera on? Huh? But you no, could do think, one I at a time. Well, here, I can, I, can, I can admit him. Now, let's see what happens with Bob Pratt. You can do passwords, though, right? Oh, okay. Also, so if you put on your, on your link. Great. Bob Pratt, are you there, Bob? He's connecting his oh, audio. Oh. Hello. Oh, yeah. Bob, are you there? Come on, Bob. Come We're on, Bob. Bob, 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 Okay, he's Bob's nice, waving at us. He's a nice bomber. Hmm. Goodbye, Bob. <laughs> anyway. Thank you, Bob. Well, now I know how to do this. Okay. So we had to go through this once, right? You learn on everything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, I didn't I didn't realize that they would still bomb if they couldn't screen share. You know. Yeah. But yeah. The, you know, and it, it's a question of <clears throat> are they all the same person? Is the question because they I all wonder what it is once. that they have to do that that's all they got to do? Yeah, yeah. it's some the seven year old kid. No, I, I, I'm wondering if it isn't just one person who somehow is able to do that <laughs> in various names because you just gotta find your link and click on it. Yeah, he's right. sheltered Especially the place. one on Gabnet. Hmm, what? Especially the one on Gabnet that's yeah, always there. It's on Gabnet and it's on YouTube. They just got to click on the link and they get in. Yeah, but my question is, why did we get them all at once? See, I mean, you yeah. would think that if we were going to get somebody. Lucky. I bet you it's the same person. They're all same that's the what same I'm room. saying. I'm betting it's the same person. Mm -hmm. There was too much yeah. similarity between a couple of the names. Really? Yeah, yeah. like the two so Marias. They had accounts like, like Maria, 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 Isabel, Maria, somebody. They were all Spanish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, now you're going to have to go somewhere else to do this, you know. Well, you, you know. There's probably some kind of search you can do to find Zoom cams or something. Yeah. I, you, hey, know, Ray, you know what's kind of fun? Yeah. When you played Aunt Jemima, did you wear blackface? <laughs> I didn't play Aunt Jemima. <laughs> I, pl I played like the racist white guy, I think. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, but I made yeah. it okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I was like your manager or something. Now what? Yeah. Are, what are they going to do? I guess Aunt Jemima is just going to be a good play. Uh, Aunt Jemima is going to be put out to pasture because, but you know that's a brand name. And, and no, they're going to do a new name and re 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 introduce it or whatever. What do you yeah. think the name should be? I think that's it probably question. should be Step and Fetch It. <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody would get fired if they did that. Now, actually, mm -hmm. here's what I think it should be. I think what they should do with Uncle Ben's rice, it's it's simple. Just start calling it Ben's rice. Yeah. Ooh, that's yeah. enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good enough. Or just Jemima. And you can put a picture of me on it because my name is Ben. There you go. Okay, but go call it. The no, they'll, they'll use they'll use the Big Ben in in London. Yeah, no, uh, ben, the clock. Ben's Ben's rice and Aunt Jemima. Um, Aunt, Aunt J. <laughs> Aunt J. Aunt J. Yeah, Aunt J. Pancake mix. Auntie J. Auntie J. Does anybody yeah. actually yeah. use yeah. that stuff? What? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, if you're gonna go out and buy pan, listen. If you're gonna go yeah. out and buy pancake uh, batter, yeah. the, the stuff you buy is Aunt Jemima. It's still the best they make. Yeah, it was no, you're putting all these people from Vermont out of work. You know, they, there's there's pancake syrup that's really syrup. Very expensive. Yeah, yeah Very but you don't expensive. use that much. Yeah. But uh, I'm just trying to think. What are going to happen to other some other brand names? Well, I guess. Ben what about the Quaker Oats guy? That's what I don't get. Why are they going to get rid of the Quaker Oats guy? Because no, he no, was, no, I read that though. This he's leaving in protest. Because it look, I, I, the only thing reason I would have gotten it years ago is it looked a lot like Barbara Bush. Yeah, I think it was why. Yeah. yeah. Hey, and what about the Dutch yeah. Doughboy? You know, with the yeah. 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 Chef Boyardee. Italians oh. are very upset about Chef Boyardee. Also, just yeah. let you know. There actually what was a Chef Dur Boy R D and he Wiener Schnitzel. No, there was a Chef Boy R D and he actually did come up with the uh with the the uh, that horrible spaghetti in a can that by the time you got it out of the can you ever notice when it came out of the can and you did it it came out in the shape of the can? Like yeah. the cranberry sauce. Yeah. 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 You could like cut it with a knife and eat it for lunch cold. My mother, I used to love spaghetti. So my mother bought a case of Chef Boyardee, or maybe it was Franco-American spaghetti, 
And uh, I would eat that for lunch. I was when I was a kid, that was fine. I wouldn't I accept it today. Me. You know, she said, I can make it. I used to always want like the raviolis. Really? Mm. I'm excited. I'm going to buy this. But they were always they were always like they've been sitting there in a can, I, and it, they never like were anything else. There was no such thing as El Dante with no, those. No, those are already done. You know, I used to put it's a mush. It was mush. Yeah. <laughs> How about SpaghettiOs? Uh, SpaghettiOs? Yeah, they, they sucked too. They all sucked. All the canned yeah. spaghetti sucked. What, what about Bob Big Boy? Bob's Big Boy. That's Ooh, like, yeah. Bob's Big Boy. That's kind of, it was good. It I have, it's different. kind of like Phil as a young man. Well, all I'm yeah, saying, all I'm, all I'm saying is, is that, <laughs> that, that I think that there is. Oh, wow. Uncle Ben's, they could call Ben's rice, and they probably could, you know, get people to understand that change, right? That they were buying the same product because Marjorie was in in sense because that's all she uses for rice. She goes out and buys Uncle Ben's rice, mm. you know, um, you know, the, some not the stuff that's pre-made, but the stuff that's, uh, uh, you know, that you cook up. You've seen one rice kernel. You've seen them all. Yeah. Oh, come on, you're a you're Filipino, I've beaten him easy. Ooh, what, what's going to happen to Kentucky Fried Chicken? Jasmine rice. What's going to happen original. Rice. Here's the original Aunt Jemima. Look at this. She looks good. Yeah. That there was the go. original drawing. There you Aunt go. Jemima. Yeah. Yeah. And later, oh, yeah. Hattie, McDaniel, Hattie, Hattie McDaniel played a Mammy character in Gone with the Wind, which you're also not try, now trying to screw up for us, so. They took it off of Netflix or no? Huh? What is it? Yeah, they took it off of HBO or Netflix or something. No, no, they took it off of uh, well HBO. Disney. Yeah, HBO. Max. Yeah, HBO. Warning. Disney. No, HBO Max. HBO. Yeah. yeah. So, so, a warning. Hmm? so tonight, my my, I'm sitting outside with my wife, and she's we were talking about this, right? And she said to me, "Did you know that back in the early 1900s, that in Coney Island?" They brought over a bunch of Filipinos and they put them in a human zoo. Really? Yeah, there's you could Google it from 1904 to 1911. Google it. And you see a picture of a little girl who's tied to a wooden post and in Coney Island. And they used to charge admission. They, they brought over all of these what they call tribes people mm. from the Philippines. And they were showing them off. It was just a horrible thing. I mean, we were hor just, it's amazing. We actually been I, I didn't believe it. And then she showed me the, the pictures and all. I was like, if you wow. think we're horrible now, we've always been horrible. Yes. Yes. Agreed. We've exactly. always been horrible. Absolutely. We, we, you know, we, we indenture people as slaves. And by the way, there were white slaves in this country too, because they were indentured servants. They went in indentured servitude for 10 years. They uh, made a deal though. They made a deal. Yeah. The, y yes, Ray. So in 1906, um, my family, who came here from Italy, their house burned down uh, up near uh, Coit Tower. Mm -hmm. And they had to move down to, to Pacifica and become indentured servants on uh, artichoke farms for 15 years. Wow. Really? Really? Yeah. yeah. We're, we're just yeah, terrible. Well, you know where they get that? They get that from the trades. Uh, that's why it took seven years to become a journeyman, because um, no, a journeyman. It took you. They it, were poor as hell, man. You yeah, they, they, they didn't while, get paid money. While you were in, the, from in, in those seven years, you were a journeyman, Phil, and then you became yeah. a, you know, a plumber you or became whatever. Became a, a master. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they were no journeyman. His uh, was an upholsterer. He, he died a couple of years ago. He was eighty-five, but his dad came over here in the 20s and he came over uh, to learn uh, or to practice his trade of upholstery and uh, uh, they worked for seven years in another guy's shop mm -hmm. uh, until you know he did his journey and, and yeah. became a master upholsterer. Oh listen, uh, Yaro Jean-Pierre Torres is trying to call in. Maybe I'll let him call in after we're through here. <laughs> yeah. I'm hanging yeah. Up with oh, him still. Are, are you being uh, a little, uh, what would you call it, uh, ra racially in, you know, in, in uh, un improper? 
I yeah. Doubt it. I doubt it. Hey, what, you, Charlie? You're excluding all the Spanish Oh, shut guys. up, Phil. We got to get in the show oh, here. <laughs> and I'm breathing heavy tonight for some reason. I don't know. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Phil. Uh, thank you, John Larkin. Thank you, Tony. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Brian. Uh, we just saw a car go by. Thank you, Kevin. And uh, thank you, Ray. Why don't all of you give a big wave goodbye, and I will then wave back at you. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, the ones that aren't the phony human beings that try to call this program. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. Stay tuned for Jack Bishop. He's next with The Intersection. And you can be, he'll be taking your calls there via Skype. Most of these people can't bomb. Uh, in the meantime, I'm Alex Bennett. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice night. Stay safe and wear a mask, okay? Okay.